know what you're thinking. It's true that this particular creation of the celebrated duo Stan Lee and Jack Kirby has not exactly been the most impressive mutant, but hey, there's no denying the solitary fact that he happens to be an Omega level mutant, one who is capable of doing some pretty nasty things while resorting to his powers. We are stressing on things which go way beyond creating ice-based constructs and ice slides. Well, for starters, he can alter his entire body into a spiky mass of ice, which, to be honest, is very cool in the first place. This naturally makes him immune to the effects of exceeding levels of cold, giving him the ability to freeze the environment around him and simultaneously be a recipient of some exclusively astounding regenerative abilities. He even possesses the power to regenerate his entire body from bits, and that pretty much makes him functionally immortal till the time he has the element of moisture around to regenerate. Well, this brings us to today's video where we will be explicitly exploring the anatomy of Iceman. It'll be an intriguing in-depth analysis of the character, so we suggest you stay tuned till the very end of the video. Are you ready? Let's do this then. Before we get into our explanation, we do have one very small request. If you enjoy our content, then please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Now, let's begin. Does Iceman possess the ability to manipulate water? Without a doubt, yes. Iceman has the ability to influence water at a molecular level, resorting to the very moisture around him. He can use it to enhance himself. Now, when we say enhance, we like to stress on the fact that due to his molecular control and the power of hydrokinesis, he can cover great lengths and very rapidly, may we add. All he needs is a body of water near him. It can be a pond, lake, ocean, as well as water lines. Now, for those of you wondering how he exactly does it, well, he needs to break himself down first, then fuse with the water and finally reconstruct. Also, please know that after Iceman amalgamates himself with water, he basically bonds with it and becomes a single entity. Therefore, he's able to alter himself into a superhuman size with superhuman strength, of course. Also, the conscious controls of his powers permits him to coexist in two different places at the same time. Is Iceman made of ice? Well, he does have the power of thermokinesis, which means that he's capable of lowering his external as well as internal body temperature to the point that his body starts projecting extreme levels of coldness. As a teenager, Iceman could only cast an icy layer on himself, but now it is only fitting to say that he has evolved along with his powers. In short, he becomes ice when he transforms and his body temperature drops to zero in just a matter of seconds. Iceman can attain both a gigantic size and a shape of his choice simply by adding more water from the surrounding environment. This also makes him resistant to extreme conditions such as hypothermia and frostbite. How did Iceman become an Omega level mutant? When it comes to the terrifying alien races of Marvel Comics, the Brood categorically tops this list. This particular race has not only been a menace to the X-Men, but also to the entire galaxy. They are utterly despicable, and mind you, to be ambushed by the Brood is to become a Brood. This brings us to Iceman and him being an Omega level mutant. While it's true that the calm laid back demeanor of Iceman usually fails to give the mutant an accurate impression of his all power status, things have clearly changed given the last few years, especially with a confident Iceman tapping deeper into his powers and abilities. Naturally, Iceman's resilience to brood infection is a huge thing that confirms his supreme status. Next is his ability to generate duplicates and, should we say, ice clones of himself that he can control. And while we do not know precisely how many clones he can create at once, it does give one a fair idea of his phenomenal powers. Then we also have this founding member of the X-Men single-handedly taking down the colossal dragon Fing Fang Foom, thereby exhibiting his exceeding levels of strength. Does Iceman have the ability to regenerate? Absolutely yes! Be it be broken limbs or simply any part of his body, Iceman has a solution for every aspect of his body. 
Hell, he can even restore his whole body from pieces. If you think this is impressive, <laughs> wait till you hear the part where he was able to heal himself post experiencing a rather fatal wound to his chest while he was in his ice form. All he had to do was change back into his flesh and blood body. This one time, he literally rescued himself from poison by drawing in the surrounding moisture and substituting his affected cells with the new ones. That's not all. Please know that he can restore himself even after being exploded, shattered, or say melted, and he just needs to have a bit of water near him. In fact, water vapor will also do the trick for him. Now, some believe that the healing factor of Iceman is actually better than the regenerative powers of Wolverine, and with Marvel Comics officially confirming that, there's no denying that Iceman is near immortal. While Logan is seen taking hours and at times even days to completely heal himself, Iceman can reanimate himself in a fraction of a second. Is Iceman vulnerable to shattering in his frozen state? The answer would be a yes and then a no. Yes, he is vulnerable to shattering, especially in his ice form, but to be honest, we would not want you to worry about it. Initially, Iceman would only cover himself in a layer of snow, and then he started to evolve which led him to sheathe himself in a layer of ice that acted like his armor. If you take a look at him now, he has the power to transform himself into a form of organic ice, which means that he has full authority over the ice and can mold himself into any shape that he wants. It's his organic ice form that makes him more unsusceptible to any form of injury than he usually is in his human form. While he is in his ice form, if any part gets damaged, he can reassemble himself and this will not affect his human form. Does Iceman have the capability to introduce freezing to his surroundings? Iceman possesses the power of cryokinesis, via which he can manipulate the moisture around him, resorting to this mutant ability. He can freeze the ambient humidity and convert it into super hard ice. This allows him to take in all the nearby heat and decrease the surrounding temperature. He can regenerate all kinds of ice structures like ice slides and even use them as weapons. Resorting to the very moisture around him, Iceman can also produce ice clones and other sculptures. And it's not needed on his part to physically be in contact with the ice to shape things. He can direct the waves of coldness in order to create the ice constructs that he wants. Speaking of his ice structures, he has successfully produced ice domes, powerful ice blasts, and beams, ice ladders, ice shields, and ice bolts, among various other things. Imagine his ice constructs being so potent that he has even been able to encase the powerful Hulk inside them. Besides the things we've mentioned, Iceman has been able to cause a freaking blizzard, and if that's not enough, he can also fly on his own by levitating the very ice on his body. His powers are very vast. So much so that it actually extends to the molecular level. We're stressing on him having the ability to freeze and unfreeze all the molecules of both a being and an object. So for example, he can freeze the blood in the veins and even block access to the powers of other mutants. Can Iceman take other forms? Holding on to his whole persona and powers, Iceman can transform himself into vapor. In this form, he can penetrate machines to disrupt them and slide through the tiniest cracks to escape. He can even make himself use the vapor around him to enhance himself. We're talking about a gigantic Iceman here with supreme levels of strength. One has witnessed Iceman melt, rain, evaporate into a cloud, and then simply reassemble himself. If needed, he can also become incorporeal and be in different places at once. Let us also not disregard the fact that he can hold on to his gaseous form for an indefinite period of time. Can Iceman clone himself? As mentioned before, yes, he's capable of cloning himself and every clone will possess his powers. In short, he could create an army, but we're still determining how many ice clones he can generate at once. Is he immortal? Iceman not only has the power to cover his body with ice, but also become organic ice in the process, and in this form, it is virtually impossible to destroy him. He can recover even if he has his body broken into bits, or incinerated for that matter. He has so much authority over his powers and with an unlimited supply of moisture always around him, he just cannot be killed. But having said so, all that mental effort required to put his mutant powers to work can sometimes drain him thereby causing his freezing ability to be temporarily dysfunctional at times. <laughs> 
Does he have any weakness? The only limitations are his own imagination. Somehow, Iceman seems to lack the creativity and imagination to use his powers to their full potential, and that might be because he's afraid to lose control over his powers by doing so. Like it or not, Iceman really is one of the big wigs of the X-Men, and his powers will only continue to increase in the future. Anyway, with this, we finally come to the end of our video here. What do you guys think of this Omega level mutant here? One who can literally turn raindrops into fists. We'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, stay tuned with us as we promise to come back with more exciting content. Till then, goodbye, and have a nice one.